Thank you. Uh, Emma was talking previously how you guys are playing juniors and it's always junior. Do you try to use the same tactics today as you did like when you were last played her? Uh, honestly, I played her twice before that. Uh, once I won, once I lost. Uh, it was six and seven years ago, so I honestly don't remember anything from that matches. And I don't remember how she played. And obviously the game of like both of us, we, you know, we, we had a pretty decent career, both of us already. And, uh, we still have, and, you know, we changed, we improved, we, you know, so I can't, I, I first of all, I don't remember how she played. Second of all, no, I, I don't think it was the same tactic. <laughs> Okay, and uh, how does it feel to be in the semi-final of uh, the OET 250 this week? Uh, it's my third semi this year. You know, it's not like uh, it's the, it doesn't feel like first one, obviously. Uh, I'm just uh, trying to focus on the next match against Simona. It's going to be obviously a big fight and I'm really hoping for that. So it's, it's, um, it's obviously a great feeling. I just, I'm just focusing on the, on the next one. Thanks, best of luck. Thanks. Hi, Marta, good to see you. Congratulations on the wins today. I was just curious, you don't have that many memories of her playing her as a junior, but how much of this US Open run did you watch and, and what did you make of that, the all-team final and, and all of that? Um, obviously, um, I have to be honest, it was a bit rough for me to watch <laughs> their, uh, their, uh, both of their runs, like, you know, um, it, it, you know, I'm trying to be the best I can be. So obviously I want to be where they are and I'm sure it's going to happen soon, but it, I, I didn't feel very nice, you know, looking, <laughs> looking at them playing finals. I was, it was very, very inspirational because it gave me strength and, uh, uh, and I realized that I can do the same thing. Uh, so this is the thing they, they gave me, which I'm very thankful for because leading something is never easy. You know, when you are the first, it's always extra pressure. It's always, you always have more expectations and, um, it was very, very inspirational. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to lie. Uh, and I don't know, like when you watch tennis and when you play someone, it's two different things, you know? So I was watching, but I really couldn't like Emma just came up and no one could really understand how to play her and how she plays, how her ball flies and everything. What's her like weak side, you know? And it was just tough to figure out, especially when she was playing so good. So, um, I don't know, like when I read, uh, when I read her comment after yesterday's match about me that she'd said that she, that I was destroying her honestly gave me so much strength like I was like okay she remembers it you know I have to go with it because I don't remember it like I don't remember like killing her and I re and I like killing her on the on the court you know um and then when I saw before the match that our head-to-head -head is one all it was actually not like me like really destroying her on court so uh you know but I was still very focused and I didn't know what to expect. So I needed to figure out very quickly on the court what I should do next, like what's the tactic and how she plays and, and so on. And I think I did pretty well. And just speaking about maybe your reaction to seeing them do so well, this is a good result for you coming so soon after the US Open. Does that feel like kind of a reaction because it hasn't been the easiest summer for you in the last couple of weeks? Um, can you, I didn't hear the beginning of the question, sorry. Yeah, just because this is your first quarterfinal in a couple of months, you know, in a couple of weeks, it wasn't the easiest summer for you. Uh, do you feel like that this is, the way you're playing now is sort of a reaction to what you witnessed at the US Open? Is it that inspiration? Do you feel like it's coming out right now? Mm, I don't know. It's like, it's never like one thing that helps, you know, it's always little pieces like that put to, that you put together. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know, like obviously it gave me some, uh, it left some, what is the, the print, it left uh, some footprint on my, on my brain, you know, obviously. And it was always motivating me to not stop, you know, and the last couple of weeks were very, very tough for me. You know, I was uh, struggling with my health, with my confidence, with the, the way I play, you know, and um, all other things. And, you know, now I feel like things are, falling in place and I'm just trying to use it as much as I can and hoping to 
get the title. <laughs> Um, so first of all, we played outdoors, which is a little bit different. Uh, the courts were super slow in India Wells this year, like unbelievably slow. And obviously it was an advantage for her because that's, that's, you know, that's where she feels comfortable. Uh, this is a little bit different, uh, surrounding here. You know, we play indoors, the courts are a little bit faster. The balls are, are faster. So I'm going to use as much of it as I can. Uh, obviously I have some tactic from the last match. Um, and you know, it's, I'm just going to try to find as hard uh, to fight as hard as I can. You know, that's, that's the best I can do. I can just ask one more, Adam. I, Ms. Vicky Vinny Wells, Paolo won the tournament. I know you're really close to her. I was just curious if you made a, that result in just a pretty year. Sorry, again? I was just, if I could ask one more question about Indian Wells, Paolo. Yeah, yeah. I know they've been very close, just what you made of her result in her pretty year. Um... After Paula, I didn't hear you. Sorry. What did you, what did you make of the result of her winning? Oh, okay. And what did I make out of it? Yeah, sure. Uh, Paula had a very consistent year, which is very impressive because this is not a big thing in tennis right now, in women's tennis. Okay. And it was, you know, I'm, I'm very lucky. I'm close to her, you know, and, you know, we can both share how we feel what's going on, you know, how are we feeling right now? Uh, I'm, I, I was very, very happy for her and uh, I hope she can win WT finals. I'm going to cheer for her. <laughs> and um, I don't know, like it just, it, all these results, like I was always feeling like, you know, I don't, I still don't belong there. You know, I'm st I still don't belong in top hundred, you know, even when I was and all those wins that that they're happening now, you know, people that are close to me, you know, and I, it gives me like uh, confidence and strength that I can do it as, as well. You know, the, these people, they're like real people. They're my friends. You know, I talk to them. They also have their struggles, but they can still win it. So obviously it helps. So yeah, I'm just very happy for her. Thank you. Thanks. I want to next level, but I wanted to know what you talked about earlier. What does it feel like to be to break through or, or I didn't hear after yeah. Um, yeah. um I don't know like uh when I was younger like three years ago four years ago you know I was the first one who played really well in like 30 years 25 years and when I was like breaking some records every week, uh, it was giving me, you know, I knew it's going to end somewhere, you know, because I can't keep winning, like, or keep breaking records, like my whole career or like the whole year or like, I don't know. And at some point I didn't, I didn't, um, handle the pressure, you know, the pressure from myself, from people, mostly from myself. And I don't know, like, because we're talking about the breakthrough that was like a couple years ago or like a year ago, because uh, the first one who broke through top 100 was Coco, not me. Uh, and she's younger than me. Um, but like from my age, I was the first one. And I don't know, I kind of like to be the first <laughs> everywhere and uh, it is a it's a great feeling you know you just have to i got the experience where i didn't handle it and i have to kind of get back up uh and it gave me a lot of a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge on some things and how i should react in certain moments so uh, it's just you know it's just extra experience it's not not much than that you know i still try to grow every day that's not about numbers for me yeah, hi, Mom. Sorry, if I bet you already touched on this as I missed the start of the press conference, but did that surprise you that how quick that result was tonight? And were you surprised how Emma played? Uh... Even though, you know, I followed a little bit of the U of her US Open run, I couldn't figure out how she plays, and obviously I wouldn't dig, dig into my brain remembering how she played six years ago. So, you know, I kind of, I didn't even watch the match. I only watched her match against Polona, uh, second, end of second set and third set, a little bit. Um, and um, 
I couldn't say much, you know, when you watch on the TV or, you know, from the side, you still can't understand how, you know, how person plays, how she's going to react on your shots. So I knew I had just a little bit of time to figure it out, you know, and uh, after first couple games, I kind of got it. And that was it. It was, I don't know, like, I just tried to, to do what I felt like doing and it worked. So I can't be surprised or not surprised with the quickness of the result. I don't know. Thanks. Uh, how do you feel physically and mentally at the moment and to your to fitness your to new challenge in the semifinal? Um I don't know, like I feel I feel great. It's just uh, I needed to adapt a little bit today to the time of the match because all the time all the matches before I played first and I had to wake up earlier, you know, it was a little bit different routine, so I had to change it today and I'm glad it worked out. I don't know, I'm just uh I'm feeling fine, you know, when you when you win when you win matches you don't feel as bad as when you lose them. <laughs> so, uh yeah, I'm feeling great. And uh, regarding the next match, um I look forward to it obviously and love playing against Simona, very very nice person and uh, you know, it's just uh, just hope it's going to be a great fight. Thank you.